All right, the big day has finally arrived. Here we are, May 22nd, 2022, Cape Wrath Ultra. Car is parked up. Now time to drop off the drop bags and get this show on the road. I couldn't fit any more in. Volume caught me in the end. There she goes. Next time I'll see her at that camp. If you happen to come across someone who's fully conscious and badly put uh, yourself in this situation, clap up, clap up. Just got my GPS tracker. Full clean up item. But not as heavy as it looks. Uh, so, um, welcome to the Cape Breath Ultra. <laughs> uh, it's lovely to see you here. Um, it's the biggest uh, event Cape Breath we've ever had. Uh, I really hope you have a brilliant um, adventure over the next couple of days. Thank you very much for being here. step across from one to the other. It's a, it's a real simple procedure to abandon ship. Right, that's the end of the doobie gloomy bit. <laughs> Twenty minutes to the start of the Cape Route Ultra. It's actually drying up a little. Rain was coming down a little bit heavy earlier on but not too bad now so 20 minutes and it all kicks off. Watch this space. So it begins. We have about 10 miles of road to begin with, so it's time to settle in. So unsteady. All right, just turned off the main road. A bit earlier than you thought. 6.24 miles. Heading inland now. You're at TV. The Competitors in this race come in all shapes and sizes. We are 12.8 miles into the race now. Just trying to find that balance between too easy and too hard. So I'm tending to walk some of the hills. I'm going to walk a hill here, right here now. But a lot of people are running these hills. For me, it just feels a little too early. A little too early day one. There's a long, long way to go yet. But from a navigation perspective, no issues. You're really 6.4 miles with it to turn off and then you're on this kind of a path. I'll tell you again, once we turn off this, I know we're going to turn up right at a certain stage, but for now, we just keep on keeping on. Ah, okay, we're coming a bit properly off road now, but still just followed the course the whole way along. I actually turned my watch on there, but three or four minutes ago because I was fairly isolated and it immediately told me I was off track so I stopped and I was going to go mm, where should I be and I was on track kind of recalibrated then so but yeah 
a lot of climbing now for the next while so I'm just gonna march this one out yeah climbing steadily now just got my photograph taken by these two guys back here <laughs> they're gonna get everybody walking I dare say pretty steep ground just before them ah but this isn't so bad guys be today in the office if you ask me takes me back to my old geography class Oxbow lakes and meandering rivers so from the steep uphill to the boggy valley but not too bad almost 19 miles I think can't look at my watch right now but let's keep rolling whoa first semi-significant river crossing Uh, not too bad. Ah! All right. Oh, -ho! coming off the mud and onto the trail. And there's another competitor. Hallelujah. And the day has dried up completely. Looks like we might have a nice, a nice evening in camp. But it stays like this. But it is liable to change in five minutes. So I'll enjoy it. While I have it. That wasn't 19 miles the last time by the way either. 17 miles. But now we're at so uh, can't tell you. I have my map on, so I'll just leave it there for now. Since I'm all alone. I'm all alone, baby. I passed the car park about five minutes back, and apparently I'm gonna meet a bridge that isn't there. So maybe I'm not gonna meet a bridge, it's more precise thing to say. And that's gonna be our end of course today unfortunately it's only about 200 meters from the finish actual camp but we need to turn around and go back to that car park where we'll be driven around to the camp pain in the ass day one finish all good boom thank you very much let's go it So it's the end of day one. Very happy with the result today. I'm seventh overall at the moment. Uh, was it too fast? I don't know. I don't know. Felt comfortable anyway, and we'll keep trucking away for the rest of the week, hopefully. Here's the Glen Finnan Viaduct, made famous by the Harry Potter movie. And here is our camp down here. It is very wet and soggy. I'm glad I made the last minute decision to change my uh, camp footwear from sandals to my standard Solomon walk around shoes. They're not waterproof, but they haven't let the water in yet in the soggy ground, so that's a bonus. So overall, no problem with navigation. Uh, very straightforward, you can't get lost really. 6.4 miles to the first turn off, and then really you just run the whole course after that to the finish line. We had to stop a little bit short of the course today and then walk back and get a lift here to the campsite. Tents weren't up when we arrived, so we had to, uh, our bags were here, so we went into the mess tent and we were able to get our chips and our tomato soup, so that was fine. So over and out for now, we'll pick it up again on day two. Now this would have been a good vantage point from which to catch the train coming past, but still beautiful nonetheless. Oh. Start of day two, here we go. Alright, time to get out of here. Let's do this thing. Everybody else seems to capture this gate, so I guess I should too. Not gonna bother going through it though. This is runnable ground. So let's keep running. First round a sizable river. Get 
getting a bit more serious now. How's my wifey? <laughs> can I help you across the river? Oh, you can mock me. Onto some nice forest track after some exceptionally good quality mud there for a while. Man, whew. I went up to my hip once, over on my ass, two or three times. I have gaiters, but I didn't wear them. Never worn them before, but I'll wear them tomorrow. I had to stop to get stones out of my shoe. But when we're on a track like this, we run. These are the easy miles. Ah, so this is a nice long section track. The drizzle has stopped. Just keep rolling along. Quite a bit of navigational issues there, but didn't cost me too much time. Yeah, we're fairly spread out now. Here's one of those famous bodies. Won't stay the night on this occasion. All right. Oh, up. Glad I saw that person. We're going up now if she's correcting where she's going. I did follow her for a while, but I think it's the wrong route. I'm gonna stay low. Hopefully it's the right decision. All right, I think that other route I took paid off, maybe slightly. I'm on course anyway, so that's a, a good sign. I, was chaotic. I thought I was gonna have to cross that river, but Thankfully, I think we'll make my way over to this bridge over here, which, as I recall, is on the map all right, so that's good. I think I'm just gonna walk it over here because it's very soft ground and I'm starting to feel a bit tired now. All right, take it easy. Yeah, there's a girl who was up in front of me, so gained a little bit of ground, but I did have to climb up and then go back down again, so. Cost me a little bit of time as well, but net gain, right? Big landscape now. All right, there's a man checkpoint there, so I actually can't remember how long this day is. 27 miles rings a bell, or 35 also rings a bell. <laughs> anyway, just keep on keeping on. Twenty-three miles in. Strong women out in this course, I'll tell you. Don't underestimate them. They're built different in the hills. All right, ground has been very, very soft for the last couple of miles, so I've just walked it. I've determined that the amount of energy required to get me moving was greater than I had in my back pocket to spend. So I'm just gonna march it out and run where I believe it's runnable. This may not be too bad now over here, it looks a bit more packed. Might give it a go, she's running. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's been a hell of a climb up from the river. I don't know much, how much higher we have to climb, but whoo up, 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 up we go. Come on now. Don't tell me that's not stunning. Whew. That's what we came here for. Super descent on the other side of that climb that we were on just there. So I just took the brakes off, passed a few people. But unfortunately, I've discovered that yes, it is 35 miles. So I got a bit of a ways to go yet. Something like 11K, 12K. All right, let's do it.
dang it. First navigational error. Bit expensive. Stayed on that track there, following the lake around, when I should have been up here. And I passed this guy a while back. But, them's the brakes. Ah, so about four, four and a half miles to go. We can do that, right? All right, home straight. A little bit technical. Oh, that was a tough day. We call day three the hard day. I've got a feeling the reason it's so hard is because day two is so bleeding hard. Oh, and I just broke a pole as well. I really thought bringing that spare pole was uh, overkill. Now I couldn't be happier. Nice little trail here along by the lake. Let's see what's around this corner. Can we see the campsite? Come on! Not yet. Not yet. Pretty dense vegetation. Campsite is considerably further than I was hoping for. But it's gotta be close. It's gotta be close. Out onto terra firma. When I came around the last corner, I did spot a blue tent. Not a million miles away. I'm gonna say about 400 meters. Hallelujah. Oh, goodness me. That was a tough one. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Well done. Hey. Oh. Hey, well done, oh. oh goodness. That was tough. <laughs> that was a... That's how, now I know why they call day three so hard. But day two was so hard. Got nothing left. Oh. That was tough. Oh, that was a tough one. Whew. And tomorrow's supposed to be the tough one. Ah, but we get to rest up now. It's early enough as well, four o'clock. All right, chill out, get some food, have a bit of a scrub. You never know, might be ready for day three after all. Sun has come out, so people are availing of the drying opportunity. Myself included. Start of day three. People are getting off early now, 45 miles today. There was a lot of attrition yesterday and there'll be even more today. But hopefully people can just chunk away. You saw me yesterday, I was pretty done in at the end of that. But it's, uh, it's amazing what a night's sleep can do. So I feel, wouldn't say I feel fresh, but I certainly feel a bit more revived and more confident that today, you know, I have no injuries other than fatigue. I'm injured by, <laughs> injured by fatigue, but uh, no, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. This camp will be taken down and put back up. Uh, day two synopsis. Uh, the ground was so wet was a big problem, you know, it really sapped the energy out of you. That first half, really, you were running through marsh, uh, and any part you tried to run in, you know, to get your foot out of the ground, suck the energy to try and get a bounce off the ground, there was no chance. So you had to, I think really you had to make a call not to run on a lot of ground that you would normally run on. Uh, so I did walk, you know, significant sections that I think was sensible for people to walk. Uh, second section had quite a good bit of running in it, so, you know, where I could run, I did run, so roads and tracks and uh, hard packed ground. So I uh, came third overall yesterday, I think, so that was <laughs> amazing, really. Added one mile, I checked my watch later on, so I added one extra bonus mile. So again, you know, uh, navigation. So if day one, zero navigation requirement. Day two, navigation came into play for sure. You know, I found myself isolated. You know, I didn't follow my own tips that I gave in the uh, navigation episode that I did where, you know, I should have known where that turn off was. That was a key turn off, but I'm just, I'm having the stage now where I'm just following my GPX file on my watch, which was another thing that I don't, didn't say, I, that I said I don't normally do, uh, which is to uh, 
follow my GPX on my watch, but actually it is invaluable. So it is my go-to now, and I'm really enjoying just following that line. You know, whenever I'm in doubt, and particularly yesterday, there was a lot of sections that were, you know, there was no track or very faint track, and you were never quite sure in those sections uh, what was the right way to go. You look down at your watch and it pointed you in the right direction. So invaluable. All right, time for me to get ready and follow these guys. I've got 45 miles of running to do, so it's going to be a long day for all of us. But uh, we're just going to chunk it out. All right, talk to you later on. Okay, day three started for me. A little later than I had expected. It's about 20 past eight now. But, ah, got all day to do it. No rush. So, uh, I guess we're going to follow that trail the guys took over there. Let the day begin. Good solid climb up out of the campsite. Very steep. I think we're near the top. Or maybe it's a fake top. Oh, he's running. It's the real top. Let's go. Uh, you got to remember to look up now and again and take in where you are. Ah, this day is a gift. Enjoy it. Oh, it's been a long, long, slow climb up out of this valley. I'll give a look at. I'll give you a look at it now here when we climb this last little bit. But there's no running going on at the moment. That's fine. The running will come. The trick is not to run when you shouldn't run. Not quite at the top yet, but almost. Ah, oh, lads, look at this. Where else would you want to be? Ah, let's hope I'm still feeling the same way in you know, 6, 12, however long it takes me, hours later. We're uh, an hour and 40 minutes in now. And that is 2,100, is that meters of climb? Goodness, climbing yet. <laughs> oh, but we're just peaking here and heading down into that other valley. I guess not. Onwards and upwards. Never follow blindly. This guy in front of me came back down saying it's the wrong way. We need to be descending into that valley. But oh, thankfully not too far. Just off a very muddy descent. And now we're onto a reasonably runnable track. That's not bad actually, it's pretty good. Into this valley. So I actually just made the first cut off by 20 minutes. So I'm a little worried about Claire. I think she can do it. Uh, I passed her. So long as she runs when she gets onto the road. The problem is there was very little runnable terrain before the checkpoint. But there's about two, two and a half miles of runnable before the checkpoint. So I'm really hoping she knows about the checkpoint and fights for the checkpoint. Okay, fingers crossed. Like climbing maybe almost finished for a little while hopefully all right down we go beautiful rain is pretty much stayed off a little bit in the early half well, already half the early half of the half i've already done what are we at we're at about 18 miles now still a long way to go that's not feeling too bad actually. But I feel a lot worse. Let's see how we progress. Pretty impressive. Just through checkpoint two. There and across the bridge at the base of the valley. 
21 point, 21.24 miles and 5.08 hours. Not even halfway there yet. Yeah. Exactly, you gotta run this. Good man, you know the, you know the score. Ah, oh, good long road section here. Run the easy miles. some boggy land. A lake behind us, We're moving on. Yeah, I have a lot of very runnable terrain today. Are you happy with this? Less than a half marathon to go. If it rolled out like this, I'd be a happy chappy. A long, long climb up at the end of the day. But I've been told uh, this is a shorter day than I thought as well. It might be 45 miles on the website or something, but uh, what I'm hearing is somewhere between 40 and 42 ish. That would be nice. Watch just died, but thankfully there were these red and white ribbons guiding the way. Ah. Well done. Thank you. I almost missed the rain. Oh yeah, I was going to tell you some of my stats, but of course my watch is dead. Day three finish. Woohoo! Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. is not so great but running is pretty good I'll take that yeah our sleep pack all had to go to the 8.30 but we got broken up now now this guy right in front of me is still part of the lead pack so we'll stick with him So it's the end of day four. What is nice at the end of these days, today and yesterday at least, they had these red and white ribbons leading you home, uh, which is definitely good, particularly yesterday when my watch died, uh, right at the point those ribbons started because it was a bit meandering like the rivers around here, so guided me home straight and true. Uh, whew, what a day. The calm weather now belies the day we all had out there. I'll tell you something, it was uh, anything but a rest day. Goodness me, I, uh, I said in one of my earlier videos about uh, uh, day four, you know, that's the day you, you get to catch your breath. But it was um, bitterly cold, very windy and a rain. Oh man. So I felt myself getting very, very, very cold at one stage, so I had to stop. I looked down at my watch and saw 10 miles. There's no way I'm surviving 10 miles of what I have on me at the moment. My uh, t-shirt underneath had gotten very wet and it was just drawing the heat out of my body. And my outer rain jacket wasn't retaining any heat, so I was just losing, losing heat and getting very cold very quickly. So uh, hats off to the Cape Rat Ultra team for being so fastidious in their requirements for us to have all the safety equipment because I put on my new 350 gram insulated bubble jacket and straight away it felt like a warm hug and uh, it did retain my heat and I was 
perfectly warm for the rest of the day. Uh, hop, skipping and jumping between people because I didn't have my maps as I mentioned earlier but that was okay and I was delighted the guy who's in second place, Thomas, uh, came up over the crest of the hill just behind me when I got to a point where I really didn't know where I had to go and the two of us ran together all the way down. It was about, I'm not sure, maybe seven or eight K but uh, we had a good good pace on us so I had lost the, the four runners at that stage but I didn't lose too much time on them I think maybe 10 minutes so I'm still in third place at the moment so I'm very happy about that uh, so I feel like I managed to gather myself and keep moving re relatively well I, my phrase of the week is ROI when I look at the ground and say what's the ROI on this what's the return on investment if it's too soft and marshy really running on it doesn't make any sense because I'm expending more energy than it's worth that I'm getting out of it. But the good thing about today is we do get in earlier than we would normally do just because of the fact 22 miles. God, it seems short, but it felt long, I'll tell you that. Uh, but you do get in that bit earlier. You get your food, you get your rest, you get more time to take care of administration, as we call it. And then you, here's the end of day four. You come up here. Oh, I'm nearly there. Oh, where to now? Take all right. Oh, there's all the tents for the uh, the volunteers. They are doing an outstanding job. Very attentive, very positive. Always cheering, always telling you you're doing great, and just looking after you. They couldn't do, they couldn't do enough. So we come in. Here's all our tents, and around the corner to finish. I had already putting up the day five. What day five start? Oh yeah, for tomorrow. All right. Well, that's for tomorrow, guys. Stay tuned. in the big brother tent living quarters a little cramped but we get by start of day five they're telling us to wrap up warm it's going to be even colder than yesterday so safety crew are around to tell people put on your warm leggings Put on your extra layers, make sure you've got enough kit. Feeling good? Let's get ready to rumble. Rain is very on and off, so it's off at the moment. So that's good, but liable to come on again at a moment's notice. They've given us a weather warning today saying you better wa wrap up warm. So I have an additional base layer on today. I have a woolly cap with me, but really that insulated mid layer yesterday, man, it was a lifesaver. So as I said previously, hats off to the guys. They're really, they really want to keep you safe out there. So I can't fault them. Okay, let's see who we can catch today. This running section is longer than I thought, which is good, except I've got so much clothing on. Got my leggings jacket long sleeve t-shirt base layer oh kind of waiting for the uphill now I'm just take it easy but while it's while it's road we gotta run them's the rules yeah still on this road but it's starting to climb now so i'm gonna extend my poles and start the hike but that was over four miles of pretty easy running actually out of camp five so very happy with that and now we trek Oh, steep ground now. We're feeling good. Had to take the jacket off though, overheating. Uh, but my biggest concern was that my mid layers were just getting damp with the sweat. So I want to give them an opportunity to dry out because that's what happened yesterday. That mid layer got wet, started cooling my, my core down uh, and I had no real uh, ability to heat it back up again. So that was when I put on the synthetic layer. And as I mentioned, very, very, effective in keeping me warm.
weather changes very quickly. Woolly cap on, gloves on. That's where the chill factor begins. Ah. Starting to catch the back of the packers now. Just a bit of a descent here. I should be able to get myself in the mix of them. Thirteen miles down, fourteen to go. Still feeling strong. Conditions very changeable. But overall moving well. I was just up with fourth place there, Lindsay. I'm about an hour ahead of him overall. But as soon as he heard, I started about 10 minutes after him today. Took off, took off like a rocket. So, I gotta try and not lose too much ground to him now. So, but this is very runnable. So we'll tip away again. Let's go. Lovely long descent there off the summit. Really good for me, just. Let gravity do the work and just scanning, scanning, scanning. So, very happy with that. Hope this truck is going to give me an inch. What the heck? No. Oh. Come on, be careful. Apparently, we're not going too high here, so. Still, very happy with progress. miles to go so home straight but what I found is that this course has a tendency to throw a little sting in the tail so three miles can be a long way when they throw something funky in so let's see what happens but energy is good we'll see this one out as well all right let's do the home run home straight of day five it's been a good day at the office. Cheers guys. Happy with that. Hello! Oh. <laughs> day six. The long day. These are the 7 a.m. departures. Similar conditions as yesterday. Apparently, we made the BBC News yesterday on how bad the conditions have been for the Cape Rat Ultra. Can check. There she goes. Hopefully she'll be smiling like that, 45 miles later. Start of day six. Bit of a slow start for me today. A little bit of swelling on the top of my right foot, but hopefully it won't impact me too much. I like this kind of country road look. So, 45 miles. Big hill to start with, we're going up that fella. Hill at the end, but apparently a lot of runnable terrain in the middle. And so it begins. Graham right in front of me, current race leader. Lindsay behind him, currently place number five.
and there we go almost 27 miles in for the track there for the last couple of miles and now we're climbing and Matt have paired up with a good man It got very cold there a little while ago again, so I had to stop to put on my synthetically insulated middle air. Glad I did. The earliest river crossing we've had so far back there a little while ago. Whew. Up there it's going to be okay. Not too shabby, eh? Oh, still big time climbing. But after this climb it should be the descent to the campsite but as I said yesterday they're always a little deceptive a little bit longer than you think you see it long before you get there let's see what today has in store about to die shortly and it's my source of navigation now I'm putting the boot down a little bit try and get back to camp I'm done got it Oh, happy with the finish overall. It's not my best, but I'll take it. It won't get any easier. Oh. Ooh. The zoom is really good for me, right? Oh. Not a bad view. I think that might be enough. They've given us new numbers for the last two days. Ta da! There she goes. Ashley Day, day seven. Go get him, Tiger. Okay, start of day seven. The guy in number four place. Then I stick with him. Don't tell him. Feeling pretty good. See how it goes. Ha, ah, big climb to come. I think we're heading up over there. Pardon my language, painful to say. Pure, pure mud. I got in front of Kurt, who's number four, thankfully, because if he was in front of me and he disappeared, I wouldn't be sure I'd see him again, whereas at least if he's behind me, I know, I know where he is. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful.
this guy isn't for moving. What do you make of that? It's like Gandalf. Thou shalt not pass. But you're a friendly little fella, aren't you? Yeah. Thankfully. Phew. <laughs> Finally, the weather decides to play ball. Hopefully now, we can just see it out today. No, feeling good today. I had a good deep sleep before Claire got back last night and uh, some others in the tent came in, I never heard them. So, well, I was tired, but must have done something to rejuvenate me anyway, because feeling a lot better today, which is a good day to feel better. But it's not over yet, so keep digging. The views are really coming out today. Oh, amazing. Scotland is really opening up for us now. Whoa. Oh, we're 32 miles in, maybe four miles to go. He got away from me there at the end, but I don't want to get too much time. Well done, man. Oh, well done. Crazy. <laughs> Ran out of sugar there. <laughs> Start of day eight. Final day. Calm before the storm. Okay, final day, we're off, day eight. Just under 30 minutes on Kurt. Not sure where he is this morning. We're the lead pack, having just left, so I know he's behind me. Not feeling too bad, so hopefully I can retain the lead for third place. Let's see how this goes. Just gotta keep moving, fast as I can. Got about two, two and a half miles done. Say about 13 and a half to go. Keep moving, keep moving. sighting of the lighthouse way off in the distance oh big big climb there oh good gap on those behind me though so feeling good now oh i think this is our peak right here Less than two miles to go. Just came off a boggy section on some track now. Ah, oh, the end is looming. The end is close. Ah, oh, all right. One last push. Oh my God, there she blows. Cannot believe it. Third place finish in the Cape Brown Ultra. I am over the moon. Oh! 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 oh. oh. What a journey. It is. Day on, day on, day on. I've never done a back to 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 back before. Oh! 
for something inside so strong I know that I can do it But you're doing me wrong, so wrong Thinking my pride was gone Oh no What a day, what a day That is something else I can't tell you guys how happy I am right now. <laughs> oh, lads! Thank you! Oh! 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 Oh, and there ends the journey guys, eight days, the Cape Rad Ultra 2022, threw everything at us, less than 100 finishes I think in the end after something like 270, I'll have the stats maybe later on but I can't, can't tell you just how over the moon I am to finish that in third place, absolutely delighted, better stop now because I'll just start repeating myself, over and out. A journey back to the campsite. Can't believe we have to stay in the campsite again tonight. Surely, surely they could have given us something a little more salubrious now that we're heading back to civilization. Oh, but you know what? Just a place to lie down now is all I need. Thirty-eight percent for this one. Yeah. Yeah. So, 